Hi, it's uh, Sanj Kakar here. It's a privilege to be here today to talk to you about the evolution of uh, nanoscope technology. And you'll see the ergonomic evolution in what we're going to go through today. We've all learned the power of nanoarthroscopy. For example, in hand and wrist, I use the acronym FIRST. F stands for fractures and fusions. I is for instability, such as, for example, TFCC instability, scaphalunate. R stands for the reduction, so now we can get anatomic articular reductions of our fractures. S is for small joint arthroscopy, such as the thumb, the MCP joint, and the DIEJ, which were previously harder to do with traditional arthroscopy. And T stands for uh, tunnels, so for example, carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel, and how we can do this safer with this more ergonomic technology. A couple of the features I'd like to highlight today, first of all, is the camera itself. You'll see what's missing is the actual uh, gray handle. You can see now with this ergonomic evolution, how it's been designed such that it basically looks like a pencil. You can still see on the left here, you'll see the uh, paddle. It says one meter cable that's attached to the nano needle. And we can still have the features of taking video or still photographs. So now if you look at the actual nano needle, what you'll see is there's some tactile function. You'll see that this is looking straight up. You can feel the ridge pattern here. And you'll actually see we still have the 1.9 millimeter chip on the stick technology, which is flexible, which is what we need for those difficult areas to get to, such as the DIUJ, when we're gripping this. So not only has there been an ergonomic evolution in terms of the camera, but also the cannulas itself. So if we look at the cannulas, what you'll see here, there's a screw-in mechanism, and this will be used for other procedures. For example, where devices can be attached. For example, if we're deploying a fiber tack, doing this nano through the nanoscope, you'll also see as we pull back, there's a little sort of paddle here, and this allows now a firm sort of click of the end uh, obturator inside the cannula. So as we're putting it inside the wrist, as we're holding this, the actual obturator stays attached within the device. Now, what you'll also see is when we pull this out, you'll see that there's a ridge here, and this allows for the positive feel of when the nano needle actually engages within the actual cannula itself, and I'll show that in a second. As you'll see, there's two cannulas. There's still the straight cannula, outer diameter of 2.4 millimeters, but also we have the 11 degree bend because some surgeons like to have that ability to look at an angled view, which we've done traditionally with arthroscopy. This is now built into the nano needle system. In addition, we have this working cannula, and what you'll see here is perfect for the hand and wrist in terms of its length. But you'll also see this sort of pattern here at the tip called this neural, which actually, once you're into the joint, prevents the actual cannula from actually disengaging out of the joint. So one of those frustrations that we always have is the capsule preventing you going in and out of your working portal. But now you have this cannula that sits in there, and in addition, it's designed to be wide enough to allow, for example, your two millimeter nano shaver to go through there or the 2.8 millimeter shaver or burr. So in this way, you basically have a system that allows you to do all your nanoscope debridements and procedures. What I want to show you is this latching mechanism. Now you'll see how the nano needle seamlessly integrates within the cannula and actually stays connected. So no more of this telescoping in and out of the actual cannula. So as I mentioned, you have this paddle. So this comes straight out. We're in the joint. And then what we'll do is actually take the nano needle and you'll actually hear the click where it's engaged. And now you'll see when I'm trying to pull how it doesn't come apart. So now what we can do is seamlessly and safely position this within the wrist without the worry of the actual nano needle telescoping in and out of the cannula.